University Athletic fans. I'm Jackson Bast here for the second episode of Beyond the Ram where we take an in-depth look at the lives outside of their sport here at Bluefield University. Today I'm joined by men's soccer player Ian Summerall. How are you doing today, Ian? I'm good. How are you, Jackson? I'm doing well. Good. So let me start off by asking you, what got you into soccer? You know, I started playing when I was like four. My parents told me, you know, they just said, make a decision what sport you want to play. Um, and I just picked soccer, and ever since then I kind of fell in love with it. Um, my older brothers had a big influence on that as well. They both played uh, for the same team I did growing up. So that was kind of where I started, and then just didn't stop ever since. So, yeah. So you, you talked that you uh, picked it up at age four. Did yeah. you play any other sports besides uh, soccer? Yeah, so I, uh, I played basketball in middle school, and then I, I played all four years of high school. Um, for a small Christian college, or sorry, high school. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that was kind of it. I didn't play anything else. I think I played a little bit of baseball as a kid, but that was just because my brothers did it, but that was it. Uh, it's okay. I was really bad at baseball. I played uh, right field for seven years, and that was from K through seventh, and nobody could hit lefty, so... Wow. It just kind of threw me out there. I used to rotate innings. Um, but you actually got to spend a little bit of time overseas playing soccer in high school. Talk to us a little bit about that experience. Yeah, so when I was uh, like 15, um, my parents and I took a trip to Slovakia. We, we knew some people growing up there, um, and they just uh, invited us out there. Um, and while we were there, we were kind of looking for things to do, so we visited the local... Um, professional club and they give us a tour and the uh, youth director kind of just told me he was like hey um, we're looking for players we're looking for internationals so um, we'd love to have you out for a training session just see what you can do and so I went out that night and trained with them and they were just like yeah if you want to join the team you have a spot and it was just kind of like a surreal moment so um, yeah it was like a crazy thing to where like uh, that process was like three months we came back to the U.S. Uh, we talked about it for a while, and then I ended up going back there um, for that upcoming season. Spent over three months with them until my visa ran out, um, and it was a great experience. I learned a lot about the game. Um, I'm really thankful for the coaches there for um, giving me the opportunity to play. It was it was crazy. I can't believe that I had that opportunity, but it was a blessing. Yeah. You, I, I read a little bit about your uh, – I did a little – stalking on your national yeah, yeah, yeah. college r recruitment page on was it is it N -A -N -C -S -A? NCSA yep. NCSA yep. and um, you talked about how you had a culture shock there what was the biggest culture shock when you went over to Slovenia yeah there was like a huge uh, language barrier obviously like most of the kids didn't speak English like they they taught them English in school and all that but they weren't at the age where they could, you know, communicate very well. Um, and same for the coaches, like the head coach spoke no English. Um, the assistant helped me out a little bit because he knew some, some words, but I was mainly on my own for the most part. I would ride my bike to practice. I didn't have a car, so it was just kind of like rain or shine. I was riding my bike a few miles to practice. Um, so that was a big culture shock and just not really having any friends, but like I made the most out of it, had a really good time. That's so, awesome. Yeah. So, uh, of course, after that, you came here to Bluefield University. Yes. What led you here? Yeah, so when I got back, I kind of decided I didn't want to um, take that, that route of pursuing professional anymore. I just kind of wanted to play for, for fun and have a good time, maybe get a scholarship out of it. I uh, started doing a lot of, like, digging online into schools and created that profile that you saw. <laughs> And uh, yeah, Coach Justin reached out to me after that, and that was in like 10th grade. So we've known each other for a good long time, and we kind of built a relationship. He came out to a few of my high school games and um, club games. Um, and yeah, I just really hit it off with him and decided to come here. So, How's the team looking this year? Yeah, I think, we, I think we've grown a lot over this past year. Um, our practices the last couple of weeks have really picked up and we're looking really dangerous. I think we have a lot of returning pieces that are going to do good stuff for us this season. Uh, it's still early to say, but we're looking really solid. I know we talked prior to the interview about how loss of now your assistant coach, Michael Gutu, 
that, that was a big loss, but we're seeing a step up in a, a, another player in, in Devin Calloway. How has yeah. Devin Calloway kind of stepped up in that role as a team leader? Yeah, he's uh, he's really kind of taken the team under his wing this season, I think. I think he's um, really stepped up and um, he's a really good like role model for us guys. And being a senior this year, he's really hungry to do great things for us, which is awesome. Um, and he's really uh, elevated his game, which is awesome. And uh, we're all benefiting from his success, I think. So it's been great. Now, I'm looking at the statistics, and I know that you and uh, teammate Axel Johansson are trying to get your goal leader here. Yes. You know, what are you going to do to surpass Axel? Uh, well, he's a center back, which is funny because, like, you're usually not supposed to score from that position, but he's so good in the air and with his feet that it's just, like, natural to him to score goals as well. So I'm rooting for him, and... Um, I think we'll get a few more this season, so it's not a competition. <laughs> I don't never hurts to compete against a, a teammate, but you, you know we also talked before the interview that you, although you do have a life outside of it, a lot of it is sport oriented. Yep. You love watching soccer, and your favorite team is Arsenal. Yep, I'm a big Arsenal fan. I love watching European football the most um i mainly watch uh the english premier league and some champions league when i can so yeah love watching them my uh my brother and my dad were always fans growing up so i just kind of adopted that and it was, it's been awesome but we're having a rough season so far but hopefully we pick it up <laughs> is there a player that you tend to model your style after that's a good question um i don't think so i think i just try to take a piece of whatever I see you know I just watching those guys like at such a high level is is really entertaining and they can all they're all good at different things so I try to pick up things from whatever I see really and, and I asked that question only because we, before this we were talking with uh, Sims director Rodney Casey and he said wow I, I thought you were an international student <laughs> so I definitely had to ask if your style was based off of somebody you had watched growing up. So you got a job at a country club this summer, and you told me that you kind of picked up golf. Yeah, yeah, I love golf. Like, I really started to fall in love with it uh, two summers ago. I started working at a club, and um, yeah, it was a great experience. I met some really cool people, and they kind of taught me how to play. My dad has always been a big golfer, so growing up, I would always go out with him and just try to learn what I could. Um, so over the summer, I just kind of went out there on my own, got to play around. I'm not any good, but I have fun doing it. So, yeah, I'm not that good at golf either. I I've played a couple times. I'm much better at. I don't know. Have you have you ever been to Top Golf? Yeah, I love Top Golf. Top Golf is so much yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it, it's really hit or miss with me. You know, <laughs> I'll either be knocking all the way to the back line, or I'm skipping right into the yellow. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. It's the same for me, so no worries. <laughs> well, that's awesome. So another thing that you do in your free time is you enjoy hiking. I do, yeah. Is there any place around here that you enjoy hiking? You know, I haven't. I've only been on one hike since I've been here, believe it or not. But um, that was with the team uh, about a month ago now, which was really cool. I forget what the place was called, but it had like a big old waterfall at the top, which was really cool. Um, but uh, yeah, my fiance kind of got me into hiking a little bit. She she likes it a lot, so we go out sometimes and do that. So it's been good. And I definitely Enjoy. meant to congratulate you on your recent yes. engagement. Thank you, appreciate it. Yeah, uh, I'm excited. I know I've, I've known you for about a year now. We were right down the hall in in, uh, in Rish, and I remember, you know, she was your girlfriend. You guys had you gone out for a little bit, but mm -hmm. definitely congratulations to you and Sam. Thank you, appreciate it. Yeah, we're excited. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys play Johnson University this Saturday, and it was supposed to be Community Day. Sadly, they're going to be postponing it, but it will be going on October 9th when the men's and women's soccer team take out Bryan College at home at the East River Soccer Complex. How do you guys feel going into that game? Yeah, I think we're all pretty prepared. We've done a lot of hard work over the last couple of weeks, really picking it up at training. Um, coaches has us working on keeping the ball on the ground and um, playing defeat and uh, passing the ball so I think it'll be a good 
good game for us to uh, showcase what we've been working on. So I'm excited. Now, I know you guys are coming off uh, a game that was stopped halfway through. It was a scoreless game uh, going into halftime. And then, of course, the, the things went through outside. And, and first off, I do want to send prayers out to Connor Vinsel and his family. We are hoping for a speedy recovery for him. Did you guys learn anything from that game going into Saturday? Uh, yeah, I think it was a good uh, learning experience for us, even though it, it was a short-lived game. The weather was, like, extremely hot down there, um, so it kind of put a test to our fitness a little bit, even though it was a short game. Um, so coming back here, I think it'll be nice to be in, in the, the cool air. So, yeah, I think I'm looking forward to it. And we know what to expect from that team now, so I look forward to playing them later on in the season. So it'll be good. Well, we're definitely excited for that. And like I said, you guys can catch Ian and the rest of the men's soccer team this Saturday at the East River Soccer Complex against the Johnson University Royals. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, take it easy, Rams fans.